I'm MightMouse74 and this is a Transformers video review. For the Transformers community, please subscribe to MightMouse74. Hey, what's up, Mouseketeers? Might Mouse 74, the cool Transformers video review. From Transformers 4, Age of Extinction, this is Deluxe Class Snarl. So, on the back here, you get a brief bio which reads, and I love this part Snarl lives up to his name. If you see him smile, it usually means he's about to turn you into a pile of scrap metal. The thrill of battle is the only thing that makes him happy. Also available, Bumblebee and Hotshot. And just up here at the top it says changes in 15 steps. Here's Snarl in his robot mode and his Stegosaurus mode. So I think that about wraps up for the box. Without further ado, let's get Snarl out of here and see what he's all about. Okay, so here we have Snarl in his Stegosaurus mode. Now when you guys get him out of the package, he comes with two pieces. He comes with the spike on his back. When you open it up, it becomes a weapon in robot mode. And he also comes with the back end of the tail, which also becomes a weapon in robot mode. To attach the tail on Snarl, you have to come to the back and open up the back section of Snarl just like this. And on the inside, there's two peg holes, one right there and one just on the other side. And with the tail, there's two pegs on either side. And if you do this correctly, you should be able to grab the tail and plug it in that little slot just like that and give it a good press make sure it's on nice and tight and then just close the uh, the back end of the tail just like that make sure it's snapped into place and there you go and the spike for his back there's a yellow translucent peg right where my finger is and you have to open up the spikes of snarl just open up just a little bit and this fits on the inside and when you're done, just kind of give it a good squeeze, make sure it's on nice and tight, and it should fit just like so. So, for the details of Snarl, he has red painted details in both of his eyes. He has some silver painted details on the bridge of the nose. His mouth can and will open and close. His head can move up and down. He also has neck movements in the neck as well. He has a black Autobot logo on the side of the leg. He has purple painted details on the top of the back here and just on the other side right there. The other spikes on his back are yellow translucent that go from the front all the way towards the back of the tail. The body is yellow translucent. He has some yellow translucent spikes on the back of the tail along the side here and along the other side right there. And the body here is also yellow translucent. So let's have a close look at some of the details. Now for a comparison with Dinobot Snarl in Dino Mode, here is Dinobot Slug. Okay, so here to show us how to put Snarl in his robot mode is yours truly, my dad. Alright, so... Uh, I really missed you guys. Yep. <laughs> okay, so first thing we do is turn it around to the back, like this. And then you can split this, this part open like this. And that'll come off, out of the tail. Just like that, and then bring this around, and this will break apart here at this point. So you can well, that literally break apart. Not break it, <laughs> but you flip this. Don't actually break it. You just flip this out like this, and then this will flip out, and you can loosen it up. So it just loosens up like that. Okay. So now bring it around like this, and 
what you can do is these are the arms along the side here so you can just pull them out both sides they just come up loose like that so they're, they're on a on a hinge there and have like that and then you can just twist this around to the side if you want it in the front maybe like that and then you're gonna turn let's put it on the edge and turn the hand down so it looks more like a hand, you it's hand on the end of it, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, then do the same thing here, this, like this. Oh, they, oh, there you go. Right? And the hand, you can just turn like that. Okay, so then you now have his head buried in here. You just pull this back, pull the head up. There's a little, it's a little, little tab uh, there, right there. Yeah, little, get your fingernails. A little tricky to do. But. Yeah, you can get them. There you go, just like that. And then we're going to just attach these. You'll notice here there's a peg here and, and a hole, a slot right there. So this just goes right in. There's this peg alongside yeah, the arm. Just bring it around, and this will help you position the arm in the right place. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> do the same thing on this side. Oh, that was already pegged in. <laughs> no, no, there you go. Now it's good. okay. Uh, all right. Okay, so the next part is to work on his legs. So what you do is split them apart here. Okay. This piece folds up inside. So rotate it up like that. Just tucks in like that. And then these side pieces, this rotates around like this. There's a small tab, so let's see if I can show you what it looks like. Yeah, let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay. Oops, <laughs> that was a bit too fast, but... Alright? Yeah. Okay, so there's a small tab just right there, and there's a small slot on the inside. A little hard to see because this is all black. Well, I'll turn around a bit. There's a small slot on the inside here. So this goes... Oh, the tabs just, in there, eh? Yeah, just like that. Right? Okay. I don't know if you can see that or not, but just put it like this. Okay? Just like that. Okay, and then you'll do the same thing on the other side. Oops. I came undone. Yeah, I just came undone. That's all right. But we can do it again. Once you know where it is, it's pretty simple yeah, to yeah. put back into place. Yeah, just like so. It'll look like that when you're when you're done with it. Okay, so do the same thing on the other side. Rotate this up. So here the tab is right there. And you know, bring this up. And see if I can get it in the right spot. Almost. Yeah, just going to bring it up more. seem to want to come up all the way <laughs> maybe just turn it around a bit more and you can line it up right like to get it Oop. there we go and, cool. ah, this one just wants to keep popping out okay we'll try it again Yeah, now it's in. Okay, so this is still looking at the back. You'll see his feet are here, so you can fold these down like that. We'll turn around to the front, and we're almost finished. Okay, so that's what he looks like at the moment. Okay, so we're almost finished. You just uh, have to snap the feet up into place. So they snap up like this. Oops. Like that. So they're snapping from the back, to pushing forward, and then you can just, just position them. Yep. And really, it's just just stand them up like this. You can bring this headpiece up over his head. Kind of gives him a real tough look. And uh, essentially, that's it. And so here we now have Dinobot Snarl in his robot mode. So now let's take a close look at some of his details.
up close headshot. So if you guys notice, Snarl has two heads. He has his fake head on one side of his leg on the inside, and he has his actual dino head on the other side right there. I thought that's kind of cool. It gives it a nice touch. As I mentioned in the beginning of my review, you can use the tail and the spike as the weapons. You can just open this up like that, and with the tail, there is a hole on the bottom right there, and you can slide the, uh, the spike on the inside just like that, and then take Snarl, and you can actually have him hold his weapon, and that fits in his hand just like so. Now for a comparison with Dinobot Snarl in robot mode, and here is Dinobot Slug. Okay, so to transform Snarl back into Dino mode, again, my dad's gonna show us how, how it's okay, done. So I'm gonna start with the, uh, with the legs. So, just bring them apart like this. This snaps down, comes down like this. The foot goes back. And be careful when you're doing the legs. The legs are extremely loose on mine. Yeah. So this just goes back and down like that. Okay. Same with this one. Just get it back out of the way for now. This comes down like that. So this is going to be his feet. Comes like that. And uh, this piece in here comes out to form his head. Alright, so you have that all loosened up. I think this also no, that's, this the, that's, doesn't, that's, no, that's, that's the fake head. Yeah, this one doesn't <laughs> no. come out. Right, so it's going to snap together like that, but we'll do that after. We don't need to do that right now. Okay, we come back up here to the top. So we'll bring that back. Push his head one second, forward. One second. Okay, so now move the camera up. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> we just push his head down. Should snap down in there. Uh, let's see, somehow. Okay, we'll come back and do that after. Oh, you know what? This arm is in. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around. So this should go around like that. And this comes down and goes around like this. And you have to kind of snap the head yeah, in. Yes, so the head doesn't seem to want to go down. Push it down a little harder, maybe? There it goes. You just have to use a little force. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta force it a bit there, like that. Okay, so now that we got his head tucked in, what we do is we gotta tuck his arms in, so these are on, on a hinge like that, but you just push it down, snap it down like that. Same thing with this one. Snap it in like that. And then this part rotates and pulls up. So you can see how it's loose there, like that. What you're going to do is you're going to pull it back a bit and then bring it forward like this. So that you're getting something that looks like that. And there's a couple little, there's a small tab. It's underneath there. It's see if I can to get it around so you can see it in the camera. There's a small tab there and a small tab there. And they're going to go in there's some slots under here. This is a, it's a actual slot so it's a large large slot there on both sides and so you're going to bring that up like this kind of get it right here in that slot like that somehow <laughs> there see how it snaps in right there straight in that spot so we'll try to do the same thing on the other side oh look at that there we go perfect okay cool. we're almost there cool Okay, so now I'm gonna bring that up here. Yeah, bring this up. Forms part of his back, and then these are gonna come around like this. So you can see what I'm doing like that. So gotta snap this this part together, but we're just more or less just getting it all in in position right now. Uh, so we're almost there. Okay, so there's just a couple small things left to do. One is the uh, on his foot here, the hand. You want to turn it so that it's flush. See which way to go here. Yeah, I think you, the other way. You had it right. You had it right there. That way, like <laughs> that. Okay, so you gotta do that on both sides. You gotta confuse everybody. No, <laughs> well, it's possible to go both ways with it. So you wanna 
there like that. Okay, and you can kind of straighten his legs out a little bit. Like this so his feet are flat. You also need to just snap it together, but it's already, once you put these tabs in, those little tabs that we talked about before, this, this snaps pretty tight together. Okay, then you're gonna just simply open up the back end and you can put his tail on. So let me put his tail on here. So, in the tail, there's a little notch right there, a little slot there, and there's one on the other side, so you can use either one. And you have the tail like this. There's the little tab that's going to go in there. Goes in the other way. There you go. So I just put him like this. See if I can get it around. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I think. There, just like that. And then you just close this guy up like this. And it snaps right into place. And you got the uh, little spike. <laughs> and then the spike. Okay. So the spike goes. There's a small, small slot. You kind of have to like put it down in between. Yeah, it's right there. And but this doesn't fit in very well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so but it's going to go in like that. If you want, you can open it and then yeah. kind of. Push it and in then, and, then and then squeeze kinda, it together, I guess. Close it up again. And there he is. Oh, wait a minute, gotta fix his leg. Oh, and then put the head up. Let's make sure it's... <laughs> okay, and that's how it looks. Alright, cool. And here we now have Snarl transformed back into a Stegosaurus mode. So this is Might Mouse 74 with my video review. You've just seen from the movie Transformers 4 Age of Extinction, Dinobot Snarl. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your Transformers community. Stay tuned for lots more reviews to come. Also, join me and all my friends on my Facebook group called The Mouse Trap. If you guys want to join, I'll post a link down below. I want to thank everybody for watching. And as always, guys, take care, everyone.